Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for subscribing and checking out my channel. This is in response to a question about how to turn off the AU pitch once you've turned it on. So I'm going to show you how to switch that on and off whenever you want throughout your song so your track will sound the way how you want it to. So here's what I've done. I've just created a basic, simple little string melody here. <laughs> It's not perfect, but whatever, it's just for uh, demonstration purposes. So um, I want to go ahead and put some AU pitch on this. So you can go do inserts, and the way you do that is just uh, go over to the top, select the first empty insert, left click, go down to Audio Units, Apple, select AU pitch, stereo. It'll show up in here. Then go back to your track where it says volume, hold down the left mouse button, click, and select AU pitch. It's going to be the second one there. And then go ahead and select pitch about midway through. Uh, you'll see an orange line show up here. It says 0.0, .0 cent. Click your mouse, select your pencil tool, and draw in some lines. So I want to go there, I want to go up, a little bit down, and kind of like that, and then a little bit down. Okay, so you get the point. So now we'll play this back, and it's going to sound all messed up. Wow, that sounds really bad. Okay, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is we decided we really hate that 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 pitch, so what we're gonna do is turn it off at a certain point and turn it back on. Uh, or just turn it turn it on and then turn it off or whatever. So anyway, just go back to your inserts, left click. Actually, excuse me, no, we're not gonna do that yet. Go back down to your um, to your uh, your track and where it says two AU pitch, click on it, go up to main, and then go over to where it says, you'll see here it says insert uh, number one bypass, insert number two bypass. Well, what that means is um, obviously AU pitch as an insert and then ES2. So you want to bypass number two. So you're going to come over here, go back to main, and then select two. Now you're going to see this little dashed line down here. And if you take your, your mouse and you draw in, you'll see what's going on here. I've basically bypassed it. This is the on off switch here. And you can draw as many on-off switches as you want. So those little points in here I'm putting in, these are considered on-off switches. So right now the AU pitch, the track will play and the AU pitch will be on. If I said, well, you know what, I really don't want the AU pitch to, to start playing until like halfway through the sound, just turn it on. Go ahead and turn it on. See, now it says it's on. So this is a little switch here, right, on. Off, see, it's off. I should probably move this back. It's there. That's perfect. So now it's set for off. If I slide this down, it's on. So off, on, off, on. Right? See the flashing going on over here? So let's turn it off in the beginning and then let's leave it on for a small part, part here and then we'll turn it back off. Okay? And it'll stay off through your entire song. That green line goes all the way across your entire song. So we'll play it now and you can hear what it sounds like. <laughs> So let's say that you want it to have it on here and you want to bypass it near the end or halfway through. Okay, so that's basically how you use the on off, um, you know, bypass and insert in Apple's Logic Pro 9. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you have any more questions, let me know. Thanks.